got that green taste to it, but it's terrific, you know? So, so this, is, this is the power, this is great. This is the best. So the juicer makes it available to you, and that's the beauty of life. They lie here. If I would have eaten that watermelon, which I ate this afternoon, yeah, my body would have, that's all I had. I had this stuff, I didn't have this. My body would have had to break that watermelon down, and watermelon's really easy. The cellular walls are easy to digest, and then my body would, with fruit, it takes, it takes initially in the stomach, oh, 30 minutes to an hour and a half. Vegetables take a little longer to break down initially in the stomach, maybe two to four hours. Fruit is practically pre-digested. And when you, oh, there's a difference when you drink it too. When you drink fruit juices, bingo. In a matter of minutes, the juices are in your bloodstream. When you drink vegetable juices, half an hour maybe before it gets into the bloodstream that fast, you see, but there's a deliverance. Now, there's a book over there that I was selling through William Morrow, a New York publisher. It was the number one in the New York Times bestseller list in, I think, 1992. We brought some over. We're selling over $15, tax included, and all that stuff. It's great. And that's, that book is a great adjunct to the books we're, we're coming out with. My wife is coming out, live foods, live bodies, living foods. And there's a big difference now about living foods. Now, I know when I say living foods, I told my wife today, maybe they're going to think you're supposed to run after a sheep and grab them and start chewing on them. No, that's not living foods. Living foods, living foods are uncooked foods. Living foods are foods that have enzymes. Living foods that are, are things that have not been adulterated. Living foods are things that haven't been altered. And that's what we're going to, that's our book. We, ha we have a book coming out. But I want you to be thinking about raw food, as much raw food as you can. And I want you to do things like this that are impossible to come by unless you have a juice machine. You see? Now, I want to show you something else that you can do that, that that is marvelous. Take a good look. Now take a good look at this. That's why I asked you all, have you ever made yourself some orange juice at home? You cut an orange in half, and you know those little reamers that you have? The little glass ones? I remember back in the 1920s, my mom took me down to F.W. Woolworth in San Pedro, and you know, my, my, my dad was a fisherman for Star Kiss Tuna, very poor family, and, you know, and they took me down, and like the kids were running around, and, and she bought this little glass thing for 10 cents, and you go squish, 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 and you pour it in a glass. You go squish, 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 and you pour it in a glass. Now they have the new electrical ones, you know. Rival has one, Sunbeam has one, and you cut an orange and go, yeah, yeah. You know, we've done that before, right? And what are you getting out of it? Sugar water. It's not orange juice. I dare say you're gonna have orange juice for the very first time in your life. When you're doing an orange, I want you to peel it. Because the oil in the orange skin is absolutely indigestible and can cause problems with the digestive tract. It almost has a paralysis effect, the digestive tract. Even when you eat marmalades, 